All right, we'll continue on again. This one, like I was saying before, this is gonna be the down view, obviously, uh, and we're gonna go on to side loading. So a couple of um, a key things to, or you'll learn this in your, in your training, which will be one of the most, uh, most uh, important one is, obviously you'll never um, drive your truck under a load of buckets. So in this example, you, it'd be very, this operator would be very silly to be having his bucket already hanging out here for you to actually drive under. Because in this case here, let's say for this scenario, you can, uh, you got the room, you're coming from this angle, He'll be sitting here with a, with a bucket ready to go. You'll come in nice and area, nice and close, sorry. And he'll swing around, he'll obviously sound the horn when he wants you to stop, he or she, sorry. Uh, will want you to stop and uh, commence loading. Uh, one thing I wanted to, uh, there's a few things I wanted to highlight on this one, because we can capture um, a couple of phrases and obviously some hints that you can go on, or possible hints that you can use. Uh, with this one, for example, just say this is a massive stockpile it's elevated for a couple of metres, you're, you're naturally going to have a bit of a fall or a slope on the material. So it's not going to be fully square majority of the time. So I want to highlight how close to actually um, get to the, um, the operator in a most common way is you don't want to be too close and you don't want to be too far away either. So for this one, I'll give you an example of how we got it here. So back to just the slope that I'm talking about that uh, the natural ground will fall. So when you're coming in, it's, um, you don't want to be sitting up here at all because your whole machine would be off skewed and it, would be, it, it wouldn't be the right way to operate and you could actually uh, roll, a, roll a tub over. So, take that out. And you're trying to come in pretty close. So just say these red marks here are your tire tracks. You'd want, you'd want to run pretty close to the, uh, the toe line of uh, that fall would be, the, um, would be most commonly the ideal way. Um, and obviously you wouldn't want to be out here either because the, uh, the excavator operator would have to try to reach further to get to you and uh, like I was saying, you do, we, we're trying not to um, cause that frustration of um, um, getting your truck or putting your truck in the wrong spot if you're just starting out. So I want to try to give you these, uh, these key things that might be able to help you along your way. Um, so yeah, that's an example there of roughly where you'd like to try to put your machine. Another good um, indication is, another hint uh, for this one, uh, is if, if there's been previous trucks that have come through already and been loaded, you can actually use their, their tire, tire tracks or tire marks. You'll see them in the ground and they, they'll be pretty visible. They'll be almost as if uh, you saw tire tracks on, uh, on, the, on the sand at, at a beach. You can actually see where the uh, previous vehicle's been. And you can, you can use that as a guide of uh, where uh, the, the previous truck was loaded. So you can try to put your truck in the exact same line of that because in uh, a lot of cases, it might be, uh, it'll be ideal and, uh, and you'll have a better idea on where you need to be. Um, I'll also add on this one, we can, uh, we can probably highlight uh, another key phrase that gets used every now and again, is on the teeth. And I remember, this is a life lesson for me, I, uh, when I was first starting, an excavator operator, he said, just back it under the teeth. And I'm thinking, what is, what's under the teeth? I wasn't quite sure. And uh, yeah, being starting out, I think I got it wrong a couple of times. And I got roused on by the uh, digger operator. And, uh, and I, don't, I, don't, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna minimise that the best I can. So on the teeth, we'll, we'll give you a nice clean example. On this case, if he was gonna go, if, you, if this operator was saying on the teeth, that would be an indication that unfortunately, you weren't able to come in, you possibly weren't able to come in from that direction. You might have had to reverse up into an area. So you might have, you might have uh, structures here and pretty much you've only got yourself a small window to get your, get your machine in. And it, it actually happens because every stockpile is different, every loadout area is different. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of the time you can be limited for room. So in a case like this, you'd probably, uh, you'd be reversing back from this angle down here into position. And this would be one of those key times that an uh, excavator operator may use the uh, word on the teeth. And on the teeth is roughly, he's talking about the very edge of his, uh, his bucket. Because in a case like that, if you're reversing, this operator can actually be slewed around there because they're not going to be uh, going under your buck, under your, over your cabin in any way. So on the teeth is, he'll be talking about that and you want to line it up with the side of your, with the side of your tub really. Because... Uh, 
once he gets to there, he'll obviously flick it out a little bit more and start loading it. So on the teeth, nice indication. Um, following tire tracks, you can use that. I'll probably mention that a few times, even up to or through, throughout them all, because that one there's a good guide. Uh, not not to rely on entirely, because sometimes an operator may change the way they're up, they're um, they're loading out, and you don't want to get yourself stuck there either. But that's uh, that's side loading, keeping it keeping it close to the tail there, not too far away, not too close, and obviously not driving your, your truck sideways up under the side of the um, bank in any way because you want your truck to be nice and level. All right, all right, we'll move on to uh, nine degree loading next, I think, and uh, uh, we'll continue on with some more of the uh, little tricks that I, I learned along the way.